Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And a while back I showed you guys in my what am I going to be selling at my craft fair video, um, this card. And I have a set of them and they're these little stacked Christmas trees. And I saw the idea on Pinterest and just made it myself with some scraps of scrap of paper that I had on hand. These are just different patterns and Christmas colors. And then I did have a piece that had Merry Christmas kind of in a strip. I'm noticing I have a lot of ink on my fingers today. Um, anyway, it said Merry Christmas and some holly. I had some, the scrap of paper had a little bit of sheet music in it. And then I used a piece of red card stock and layered it and just made a card. I think this would be a really pretty cover for a junk journal. It would be a great gift tag, of course, a great Christmas card, lots of things you could do. And I got a request to show you guys how to do this, so I'm going to do that. The first thing I'm going to show you, though, is I don't have any more of this scrapbook paper. And I thought, well, maybe I could make something similar. And I have. So this is um, kind of just a mini kit that I'm going to have in Etsy. And it has this one sheet, it has Merry Christmas in three different sizes, and then just these kind of strips of Christmas uh, patterns that you can then cut up into all different sizes or use however you want. There's a little bit of sheet music on a page, and then there's a full red page, a full green page, and then kind of a neutral page that coordinates. And that's, that's what the kit's gonna be. And so if you're interested, that'll be linked in the description for you. And we're gonna make one of these with my new paper pack. And I haven't even, I'm filming this before I've even put it on Etsy or done anything. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna call the kit yet, but I'll come up with something. Okay, so, but don't feel like you need this kit to make this project. Use any papers you have. You can use other digitals, you can use scrapbook paper, you can use strips of, of whatever you have. You can do like a neutral one, that would be really fun too. So. The first thing I'm going to show you is the base of the card. So I only printed on one side, but I've decided to use the red. And I cut an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper just in half so that we would have a, a standard card size. So this is the eight and a half by five and a half. It's a half sheet, I mean, half by 11 folded in half. And then I took some of the sheet music page and cut this piece to four by five and a quarter. And if I look at the sheet music piece, I just kind of took it out of the section because I didn't really want the, the white, the neutral space or whatever to be there, okay? So we're going to layer this piece right on our card and I went ahead and just printed this on my regular kind of medium weight go-to card stock that 90 pound that I use all the time you could certainly go a little heavier if you wanted to with the card stock but I kind of figured by the time I did all my different layers it was going to be it was going to feel nice and be okay so we've got that layer there and then like I said I left the, the inside white if you want to, you could print a, one of the colors or the neutral on that side. And then I'm gonna layer another piece, which is that same size. What did I say that was? Five, whoa, I got glue now all over my mat because you know, I roll that way. This is another piece that's four by five and a quarter tall and then the last piece is that neutral, so you can, I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little different than the white, and it's three and three quarters by five, and it's just, you know, to layer that in there. So I thought I'd get this part out of the way, and I used to make a lot of cards, and these are all just standard measurements for a card that fits in a regular, um, can't remember the size the envelope is, but... A4 or something, I think it may be just kind of a regular envelope. Yeah, that feels really good with those layers. All right, now these are not super bright colors. This one, the colors are a little more rich, and the kit that I created, they're a little more vintagey, which I like. So then I just took this sheet, 
and I cut it out and then I started cutting just in, in, dip, in kind of different widths, sort of like I did this one, um, a bunch of the strips. Well, the whole thing, I went ahead and just cut it out and you'll see there are already different sizes because I've already, I've already cut mine just to save us a little time. But what you're gonna wanna do, I like having that Merry Christmas sentiment as the bottom layer of my tree. And it is just a smidge over three inches long, the way I cut it out, the way I printed it. No, oh, it's, it's right at three inches, okay. And then it's also right at three, at three quarters of an inch. So three inches by three quarters of an inch. And, and again, yours can be whatever size you print it at. If you wanted to use one of the larger ones and do one, you know, for a larger journal cover, anything can work. You can also print these at different percentages. All right. And then what I did with the strips is I just, this one, I barely, this is just a little less than three inches. And then I started going down by about a quarter of an inch. So like two and three quarters. That one I bet is right at two and a half. Yep, maybe a smidge more. And I just, and I'm just laying them here so you can see them. And there's nine of them. And so we can kind of get a sense of how we like them. And they're gonna fit, don't worry. When I start doing them, layering them on top of each other and doing a little cattywampus, they're gonna look so cute. And then this is going to be my, my trunk for my tree. And then I've got my ancient star punch. I'll try to find one that's about the same size, similar on Amazon and link it for you guys because this is an old, old Stampin' Up! one. And some ribbon that we'll use. I think this ribbon will look okay. If not, I'll pick something else. Maybe some twine. Okay, so I did, counting the Merry Christmas, nine strips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're in a di different um, widths. This one is um, one, two, three, four, five eighths. This one is... Um, three eighths, so just whatever you think is gonna look good. Get your little papers in different widths, a little bit of variance, and then a tiny bit um, shorter as you go up to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my tree trunk about in the middle at the bottom, and we're gonna get started. So you can do yours on whatever angles you like. I'm gonna kind of look at the one that I have here just because I think it'll make it fit on here well and not get too crazy. But again, don't feel like you've gotta to stick to some kind of formula. You can play around with these. This would be a project that would probably be fun if you use some removable adhesive and tried it to make sure you liked the way you did it before you started gluing it down and to see what happens. See how it's starting to come together? I'm so excited. Okay. Um, this next layer. And I'm just using my wet white glue. I find it's easy to control it. And I did try when I was cutting the little strips apart, I did try to make sure I didn't have like a bunch that were just the the primary red, primarily red or green or something. I did try to vary it a little bit. Okay, how cute is this? And now the little top, and then we'll make a star. I haven't punched the star yet because I kind of wanted to see. Ah, my tree's a little, he looks a little bit like a Charlie Brown tree. I could have gone this way a little more. I kind of ended up over here a lot, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry. All right, so for my star, I don't know if I left any of these wide enough. Maybe I did. Yeah, look at that. All right. So that's gonna make the decision on which paper I'm gonna trim the star with. You might wanna think about your star 
before you cut all your strips and, and maybe cut one out. You could also use one of the solids or even just another piece of paper if you want. But I think that'll look cute. And to make it stand out a little bit, we will, um, I'll either use one of my little paint pens or we'll use some liquid pearls or something and get it on here. Cute. Like I said, he kind of went, he kind of went one way. I think if I had brought the papers over so this didn't look like almost like a straight line here, it would definitely look better. But I'm not going to perseverate over that. I promise. Let's see if we add some liquid pearls. Now I will have to be careful with my project once I start doing this. I'm going to do one in the middle and then a little dab on each tip of the star. That's cute. And let's do a bow. I think this, this bringing this ribbon in that has a little more pigment and a little more color will be good. Now I got a, a suggestion, so I was gonna let you guys know about this too when I did my Santa and Friends kit. And by the way, you could use that kit and just cut papers from some of where the images are and you would get some really nice color and you could use that kit to make a, a tree if you have it. Um, but someone asked if my next freebie, could I consider, a, a neutral page that would coordinate with Santa and his friends to do the project, um, you know, that flip down card folio kind of thing that I made that I thought you could use in lieu of a gift, uh, in, in lieu of a card, like a greeting card or in a journal, that kind of thing. And um, I thought, well, you know, what a good idea. So I don't really have a freebie that's going to go with this, but I am going to, and it'll be up when, before this video is live. Yeah, that helps having the ribbon there. We'll use a glue dot to, to stick it down. Ah, I'm so used to not having that rolled up that I rolled it up too far. Um, I'm going to have a freebie, and it has several pages that you can use as a background page. So that is gonna be available for free on Buy Me A Coffee. And it will coordinate, it might coordinate with this kit. Um, I haven't looked closely. Definitely will coordinate with Santa and friends or for any other project when you support. And it's just solid pages. Um, they have a tiny, tiny bit, I think. I can't remember if I put a little pattern on them or not. I was working late last night. So um, I think this looks great. If you, so if you want, go over there and grab that too. And if you're interested in this paper kit, that will be on Etsy. But again, don't, don't worry about it. Use whatever papers you have. Not fun. It feels really good too. And they will look great. And I hope you have fun and that you make some stacked Christmas tree cards or journal toppers or whatever you feel like. Thanks, everybody. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support. Thanks.